Ah, you there. Leto is in one of her moods again. When I asked if I could help, she just snorted and said to find her someone outside of our clan. Many of us have been curious about another strange sound, but Leto is determined to find it by any means. I last saw her scowling at River's Run. No more hunting tonight. The lights of night lead the way. My favorites are into. I never thanked you for helping me investigate that strange sound. Oh, no need. Just glad to help. Not so fast. The sound has returned, and with it, the children at their questions. Leitao, you said the sound would go away. Again? I can take another look. Still the same spot? Yes, the hills nearby. But at night. Always at night. What if we can't find the source of the sound this time? The children's curiosity is endless. They swarm around me like Kinglor, only they are less fuzzy and somehow more tiring. But if we adults demand they respect our words, then we must also show them our words are worth respecting. Things will get better. Sounds of the forest to soothe the spinning mind. I love to cook this dish. Here, have a sample. Food tastes better when it is shared.
that sound? There. This place is forbidden. Why have you come? The children have been hearing strange noises at night. You, Sarantu, and your inescapable curiosity, like the jaws of a prowling Thanator. It is this instrument, a gift from a Kamatere musician years ago. I am an old man. But even I can sense the light of curiosity fading from all of Ronahe, the further we are mired in our own affairs. So, I picked up this dusty instrument to remind myself there is a world outside of our Ronahe traditions, to rekindle my own curiosity, as silly as that may seem. But why the secrecy? Young one. I know what the others say about me when I am not around. Nirnan, the stuffy, cantankerous elder who balks at everything. Perhaps this is who I am meant to be. This instrument will be shelved away once more, with all my efforts reduced to a strange noise that terrifies the children at night. You said you felt that curiosity slipping from your people. Maybe your curiosity would inspire others somehow. Yes, I never thought of it this way. I still have a few tricks to show the rest of my people. If I am to inspire young and old alike, I must not be afraid to show this side of me. Of course, my young friend, you are right indeed. I will not wait to show the Auronahe this side of Nilnan. <laughs> You have returned, again. Any good news this time? Nilnan is the one making that sound. He's practicing a new instrument, from another clan. <laughs> oh, child. I know this are to our gifted storytellers. But this is taking it too far, yes? He hopes to master the instrument and share it with the rest of the clan when he's ready. Oh, you are being serious. Yan. It was a horrid sound, just so we are clear. I will admit, I am quite impressed by the old man's resolve. Perhaps I have been too harsh on him in the past. Now the children can rest easy, and so can I, awaiting Nilnyan's entertainment. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Has Nefika seen what you are wearing? She will hate it. Kitangi will tell him. She cannot stand him either.
Ah, you are the young Saran too. I heard so much about. Please, come. Hello, my friend. Would you care to join me for a meal and a story? I promise flavors that delight both the palate and the mind. Sounds great. What are you cooking? Oh, no, young one. You are in charge of the meal. For my part, I will provide the cooking lessons and the story. After all, it is the way of the Saren too to learn the way of the other clans. I'd be happy to, then. Where are the ingredients? Ah, but the gathering is part of the journey, you see. You must collect some shell fruit as the main ingredient, then crimson mushrooms for flavor. We need pristine ones, too. Do not settle for inferior quality. Take your time when harvesting and be wary of damaging them. Shell fruit and crimson mushrooms. Sounds simple enough. Simple recipes are often the trickiest ones to master, young Saren. And this one hmm, is the simplest of all. Remember, we only want the best mushrooms and fruit. And fortunately for us, the Sky People's corrupting touch has not fouled them just yet. Follow my instructions, and I promise you a story that will make it worth your while. The ingredients I need. Any idea where I should look for them? Shell fruit grows on large trees all across the land. Be sure to approach them with caution. As for the crimson mushrooms, you will find those on large roots in swamp areas. Is there any particular place I can find both? Walk towards the stone arches in the distance, then down into the swamps below, you will spot plenty of crimson mushrooms among the roots. From there, head back into the forest next to the waterfall, and you will soon come across some plump and juicy shell fruit. I wonder what techniques they use. Have a look, then. Use it well. Everything the sky people built is so large. Come to let the looking to gain an edge. Do you ride well, warrior? Alufi is around Kim's age. Just try and remember something to satisfy your hunger. Be well. Be well. Wonder if Mother knows of this. Famo is a dreamer. The Kamatiri are a strange one, hidden for so long from our It's been so long since I saw the Kamatiri, but I still remember.
There. Better get back to Satno. Do not tell her I said this, but the wise Kurds are much too crumbly. Should be enough. Shell fruit next. Smells amazing. Better check the seasoning. The sisters are younger than kin, but they understand better than him the challenges we face. That flavor. Whoa. Why is this so familiar? What? All gone? <laughs> At least Satnop's gonna get a good laugh out of this. What did you think of the dish? Did I not tell you that choice ingredients make all the difference? I couldn't stop myself. I'm afraid I finished it all. No matter. Just tell me, what did it taste like? Like shell fruit and mushrooms, I suppose. But also, like my mother holding my hand during a storm, like the warmth of a fire on a cold night. How can I be remembering this? Not all stories are best told with words. Flavors and smells offer another way to reach the heart. And I did promise you a story after all. Where did you learn this recipe? A siren two woman taught it to me on a cold night. On this very spot, as a matter of fact. Wait, a Sarantu woman? Yes, she was kind, with an easy laugh, but also fierce in her convictions. Not unlike you. What else do you remember about her? It was a long time ago, I am afraid. But I remember she had a beautiful singing voice, and she had your eyes. Or is it that you have hers? The dire horse are like us, Zeswa. Free. You look like you can handle danger. Perhaps you can help us. One of our gatherers ran into the Severed and barely escaped with her life. Could you track them down and end their suffering?
dead, torn apart. Ferals? for these gifts. Uh. Anka, I found an unusual number of ferals. Seems they got the jump on an RDA patrol before I got there. Thanks for putting them out of their misery. The RDA got what they deserved. But still, Brutal way to go. Taking these ferals out is the right thing to do. Just remember that. Thank you for these gifts. Give them a merciful death. Thank you for these gifts.
Those ferals are with Ewa now. Hard, but necessary. <laughs>